Okay, so I've got this old basement carpet. It's uh, very thin, only about a quarter of an inch, kind of a commercial grade. I'm going to change the carpet. Originally, it was just laid down, not glued. You could see where there was old kitchen cabinets that I had installed. Originally, when my kids were little, they were storage for toys and things. That's what that is there. We've since then put a pool table on top of it. And there's no way the pool table is going to be moved or lifted in any way to put the new carpet under it. So what I'm faced with is if I don't want to use carpet tiles to make it easy, I'm going to cut around those square approximately 5x5 five five leg bottoms. And what I'm going to do is take the old carpet and use it as a template laid on the new carpet. Okay, so here's another day. I did decide to go with the carpet tiles, as you can see. Um, I started by piecing in under the pool table, so I can start from the center of the room. These tiles are just laid in for now, cut around my old table legs. Okay. And once I get that all set, I'll put down an adhesive, a special release adhesive, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, these carpet tiles were really good. A uh, good choice. I paid about three times as much as I would have for that crummy roll-out carpet, but this is really nice stuff with a rubber backing. Um, really good quality, and I'm happy I went with this because it's going to be a lot easier now. Okay, next what I've done here, before I took away my tiles that I laid out, I marked, um, I put a line around here and marked so I, when I started to put down the tiles, um, gives me a reference where to start. This is going to be the tricky part to piece these tiles back in exactly uh, to my perfect fit while this adhesive is going to, um, we're going to wait for this to dry. I rolled this out using a small roller. Uh, it takes up to 60 minutes to dry, become tacky. It will be dry to the touch, but tacky. This is a um, Henry. 650R. I got it at Home Depot. There we go. Henry 650R. About $35 a gallon. And I put it on with this roller. Um, there, are, there are also trowel options for this depending on what other application. But since these tiles have a smooth rubber release back, once they're down they can be pulled up and placed down again. The only, the only downside of this is the floor is permanently uh, impregnated with that glue. Could be taken off, I'm, I suppose, but there goes my nice uh, clean floor for now. Okay, so I glued down the hardest part, the center, around my legs. A um, little tricky trying to line them up. They're not lined up 100% uh, perfect, but the rest of the floor should go well and look pretty seamless. So I'm putting down some more of the adhesive here. This stuff does, it does dry perfectly clear so you can see your marks through there. And then um, I'll do one section at a time right out to the wall. All my cuts are approximately half tiles against the wall. Okay, so I probably laid out, um, poured out a little more out of the bucket than I needed so it was, I had to kind of spread it around. It was, um, you don't want too much Put it down too heavy, put it on a little heavy, it's going to take longer to dry uh, and to turn clear before you can uh, start laying your tile. So just pour out a little bit at a time. Okay, so I've been continuing to uh, lay these in. They go in really well. Um, once you get going, they really go fast. Just check your direction on your pattern here. If you want your pattern to go all in one direction as I've chosen to do, you can alternate them. But uh, they pretty much just almost put it in with one hand. Put it in, line it up. Okay, yeah, so they got two hands free now. Just kind of corner it in. Check it on one side. Make sure it's nice and tight. You want it to kind of overlap a little bit. You want the edge to overlap, so you have to kind of force it down. So you know you don't have a gap along these two, and then just press it out, and that's it. Next one, once you've got 
And I got near the walls, I've got half half tile cuts near the wall. Pretty simple. Um, if you have a good sharp scissor cuts, otherwise a razor blade on a piece, piece of sheetrock. Over here it was easy to piece in by my door. I'll deal with the transition strip there later. Uh, but yeah, it was easy to cut with a scissor. And eyeball it in, sort of. Measure it. My moldings will back on. And it's all going to look great. I see, so with this tacky base, it's tacky, but it's not wet. These tiles go down really nice. Yeah, so I'm really impressed with the ease of how this goes down. I've got this last section here with a lot of angles against the wall. Uh, the edge cuts were easy. Um, this looks like it's going to be really easy cutting these angles, go right against the wall and cut it um, with that margin of error there because I got my molding going down, so that's fine. All right, so it's all done except I've got to put my molding back. Uh, but we're done here for now. I've got to say that honestly, this is the easiest floor I've ever installed. I um, really have no no regrets. Got one last piece here, and uh, thanks for watching.